My name is Kendall Miller and I'm president at Fairwinds. And these are our predictions for what 2021 is going to look like. Number one, it's going to be a year of digital transformation where in the past this had been optional. In the moment, the time was coming to do this, it's going to become a necessity in 2021. Yes, because of the things that COVID has caused, but also the time has just come. We're going to see companies move more and more to cloud native in digital transformation and Kubernetes is going to become the default method of distributing commercial software. Number two, we're gonna see a high profile security breach in Kubernetes this year. As Kubernetes becomes more and more default across the cloud native stack, we're going to see a company have a high profile breach. It's just a matter of when, not a matter of if anymore. This is also going to be the year of policy 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 2021 is the year of policy across the stack we're going to see companies enforcing um, things with RBAC, network policy um, and opa will become more and more of a standard for custom written policy we'll also see a couple distributions come out this year as best practices batteries included uh, things like monitoring, alerting, cert management, ingress, all with defaults out of the box, etc. And finally, this year is going to be the year where persistent storage becomes more widely adopted in Kubernetes. Where it used to be difficult and scary, it's going to become more normal. Hi, I'd like to give our predictions on behalf of Weka. I'm Ken Groy, President and CRO. For 2021, I think it's going to be a big year of AI. Three big major predictions. Number one, AI will become mainstream. Whether you're doing autonomous vehicles, autonomous fleet, or autonomous fleet up in the air, it's gonna be mainstream in retail. You're gonna see different advice, different ways to get customers in and get people in and out quicker. Number two, you see the rise of a role called CDO, Chief Data Officer, somewhere between data scientist and traditional IT. And last, it's not, as a famous person once said, it's not the big to eat the little, it's the fast to eat the slow. If you're not using AI in 2021, you're losing to someone who is. Hope that helps and what can be a big part of that. We can start really low and scale the largest 70 plus petabytes and above. Some of the largest environments in the world use uh, Weka and make a huge 10x difference. Hope that helps and have a great day. Great 2021 as well. Hi, this is David Selmo, Senior Vice President of Strategy, Marketing and Systems Engineering at On Semiconductor. I was asked the question, how will solid state LiDAR become the new standard in automotive active safety systems? First, the answer is in the question itself, which is to move from the mechanical LiDAR systems that we have today with unit cost well north of $1,000 to solid state LiDAR systems that can drive the cost per unit down to below $500 for much broader adoption which at, without substantially impacting the system's cost for the automobile. Second, three sensor modalities are needed to effectively and safely implement level three and above autonomous systems. One being image sensing, two radar, and three LIDAR, each offering different pros and cons that together work to provide an effective system solution. LIDAR in particular provides higher resolution than what you could achieve with radar. The final is to implement compelling new technologies that make LIDAR even more effective than in previous versions. Those are things like silicon photomultipliers and single photon avalanche diodes or spat arrays. Hi, I'm Bill Mann, CEO of Styra, founders of Open Policy Agent and leaders in cloud native authorization. 2020 has been a year of unprecedented global change for the enterprise. As we head into 2021, we'll see the effect of many of these shifts in not only the technology we adopt, but also the workforce. In 2021, we'll see security and DevOps teams with expanded responsibilities as new attack vectors arise. With the proliferation of new cloud native application architectures moving into production, attackers will start finding new ways to compromise app data. This will result in security taking a front and center role in cloud native operations. Increasingly, security policy will shift left to limit risk and stop mistakes as early as possible. Security practices and regulations will move from PDF processes and guidelines to software and policy as code, building security directly into software-defined platforms and CI-CD pipelines. Because of all this, DevSecOps is only going to grow as security redefines its relationship to development. 
2021 will also see a complete transformation of the IT core. In this shift, all roles related to the traditional IT core will change, including security and platform architects, as well as general infrastructure and operations, as the enterprise redefines its approach to software development. Indeed, as consumer and end-user privacy regulations grow more prevalent, the voice of the platform architect will have to grow louder in the organization. Architects will have a stronger possible direct influence on application building process and, app and environments, as well as pushing for common approaches and decoupling of policy architectures to ease compliance and increase privacy controls. Both of these shifts are interrelated and will impact hiring practices as enterprises come to favor IT employees who have experience with open source tools, software defined infrastructures, and the policy as code that makes these DevOps-centric changes even possible. My name is Taran Desikin. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Banyan Security, and I'm excited to share with you my predictions for 2021. My first prediction is that in 2021, work from anywhere will finally become a reality. Now, the idea that you can do your work from the office, from home, from a coffee shop, from the airport has always been around but 2021 will be the first year this will actually become true. 2020 itself has been an extraordinary year. Uh, because of the pandemic and the changes in business conditions, many, many companies and workforces have been forced to work remotely. Uh, 2021 will be the first year where the dust settles, where the vaccine is rolled out and businesses can start thinking longer term. And I think businesses will understand that there are actually a lot of benefits that come with this arrangement and they will start planning for a work from anywhere kind of environment. Uh, my second prediction lends itself from the first is that 2021 will be the year for flexible modern remote access software. Um, you know, as the pandemic rolled out in 2020, IT organizations just extended more of the technologies they've already had, bastions, VPNs, firewalls, network access control, the same stuff, but they scaled it up to manage a, a, a remote workforce. Um, when in 2021, as the businesses settle down, as IT organizations have a little bit more time to breathe, they'll be able to go back and revisit what they did, the security gaps that they opened, the infrastructure inefficiencies that they created, and they will be able to invest in processes and tools to fix these. And I think you will see uh, uh, increasing need in 2021 for flexible modern solutions for these kinds of environments. Um, my third prediction is more at the meta level. I think in 2021, you will actually see winners and losers in businesses shake out. Now, 2020 has of course been really hard on business, um, dealing with different aspects of the pandemic and the business fallout. I think 2021 will actually be hard. Um, the companies that have been able to adapt quickest you know, the ones that have been able to uh, implement the buzzwords like digital transformation and thrive in the chaos of 2020 will continue to do so in 2021. And the companies that couldn't will actually have dug themselves in a deep hole and you will probably not see many of them survive. So there you have it, my three big predictions. 2021 will be the year of work from anywhere, the year for flexible remote access software, and the year where a lot of winners and losers shake out. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you.